Hello everybody and welcome to a very, very important video today. Today's video is about Into The Drink, which is a video um, dedicated to the bars and um, drinking facilities around the ship. We are going to show you the prices. We're going to take you through this book. Uh, I love this book. It's upside down. <laughs> Into The Drink. Now, we got this first on Discovery 2 and it was widely available. We were on Voyager last year. You couldn't get them. Uh, but we've just come back from the Explorer and you can get them on there. And I love this book because it shows you every drink, premium and all inclusive. So we're going to go through that book. We're going to show you the prices. Uh, we have our opinion of whether you should go premium or all inclusive. I mean, we've done both, haven't we? We've been um, premium on the Discovery 2. We decided to go all inclusive on the Voyager. And we loved it so much on Voyager, we decided to go all inclusive on the um, Explorer, that's where we've just been. Um, but there have been many differences between all three ships, mm. which we are going to discuss today. So, yeah, we have very uh, big opinions on whether you should spend the extra money and go premium. And also, our last video where we did this was December 2022, and prices have risen. So we feel that this update in July 2024 is much needed. Okay, so looking at the first page on the Into the Drink, um, you have got the option to upgrade to premium or inclusive. Now, um, when we went on this cruise um, a while back, it was... £70 off the cruise, £80 on the cruise, but it's gone up £10 in that time. So if you wanted to purchase, purchase should I say, the premium um, all-inclusive drinks package, you will be paying £80 off the ship. But if you were to do it on the ship, it would be £90 per person per week. Now remember, that's per person per week, not per cabin. So two people for two weeks would be £360 if you got yeah. it on the ship. Yeah. And you can take forty pound off that if you do it. Go on then. Yeah, Rip forty pound, three hundred, <laughs> three hundred and twenty pound. There we so go. that's quite a lot of money. So I think it it's is. very important as we go through this book that you look at what you like to drink and work out whether you would spend anywhere near that sort of money uh, if you didn't go premium, because you can order these drinks. Um, and just have them added to your tab as you go along. Can I just quickly say that the reason why we don't do this and we go um, just pre um, all inclusive, should I say, is because you get a lot, which we're going to be showing you on the Into the Drinks menu shortly. You get a lot for your money. Uh, well, for no money, really. It's part of the cruise price. Yeah, I mean, I have to say that you can't really go wrong because all inclusive on Morella offers fantastic uh, value for money that it's it's included in the price. Premium, I still think when you look at the bigger companies that charge you something up to £50 a day mm. for their drinks package, um, I think it's, you know, it's a no-brainer that 80 quid if you pre-book and 90 if you book on the ship is still brilliant value I for money. I think if you're into your brands, then it's definitely for you. Um, I'm not bothered. Vodka tastes like vodka to me. Um, Bailey's tastes like Bailey's to me. And I remember on the ship, um, you had Bailey's on the on the um, all-inclusive. Oh, I had Bailey's. I love a which Bailey's. Which surprised me because I'm sure they use something called Molly's. And I searched high and low, couldn't find it. But Mickey had a Bailey's on there on the all-inclusive. But as we go through this, you'll see it's on the all-inclusive. You'll find it. So shall we start? I mean, the reason we went premium the first cruise was because we love our cocktails. And there were so many more cocktails if you included the premium ones. Mm. And the other reason was I expected, well, I expected a really good choice of wines if you went premium. And you only got two extra red and two extra white if yeah. you went premium, which I, I thought was quite poor, really. And we loved the wine this time. Like the, the all-inclusive wine that we had, we were Yeah, it was brilliant. Blown away and there. the other thing, of course, was that we, we love our coffee. So we thought we would have a lot of coffee. Um... But that didn't really work out. I think we, we sort of stared at the book and thought, we're going to have to try everything. Yeah. We're going to drink one of everything. And it doesn't quite work no. out like that. Don't think no. you're going to drink as much as you think you are. Right, shall we move on to wines and yes. fizz on the first page? Okay, then. Okay, so do you want to start off? Yeah, so your choice of all-inclusive, you've got House White, Sauvignon Blanc and Pinot Grigio. And red wines, you've got House Red, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. And you've also got sparkling wines, Prosecco and Carver. And Carver. <laughs> <laughs> and Rosé, which is House Rosé and 
you going to say that one? Tempanillo Merlot Red. Rosé. Rosé, yeah. Yeah, so quite a lot of options really for all-inclusive. A lot of options. There's something for everyone there, I think. Yeah, definitely. And then when you're going on to the premium all-inclusive, you're really, you're going up quite a lot in price. If you want to buy it, first of all, we'll talk about buying it off um, the package. So you've got your sparkling wines and champagne, you've got your white wines and your red wines, you've got additions to that. So let's start with the white wines. You've got a shirt, sorry, Chardonnay, Adresso Italy. You've got a familiar Barry Biro. I'm not very good with wine, so excuse me. <laughs> Um, and if you wanted to buy a 175 milliliter glass of that, you're looking at £5.25 per glass. That's quite a lot of money. Yeah, it's quite a lot of money so, if you drink two or three glasses of wine. Well, I was going to say, so if you are a wine drinker and that's your wine of choice, it probably would be worth you going on yeah. to a drinks package like the all-inclusive premium. Um, but anyway, by the by, onto your reds, you've got Le Chatron Bordeaux and you've got the Tampanillo Remo Clemer. Spanish wine, 525 a glass again. Um, the sparkling wines and champagne, um, they are also on there as well. And you've got, I know I'm going to try and pronounce these, the Ferve de Vernay, <laughs> the Philippe Dublanc, and the Nicolas Foulaté um, champagnes. And <laughs> the Nicolas what? Don't get me to do it again. Um, okay, and of course, they're on there for £22.50 per bottle for the first two. The Nicolas Foulaté is £56.65. I'm assuming that's a nice one. Yeah. Um, and then you've got £5.25 for the first two for a glass and £11.75 for the last one. Because this is the first page, Dave, I think we need to point out what the symbols are. The okay, star yeah. type symbol means that it's not all inclusive and that is the price that you will pay mm. uh, if you wanted that drink. There is a symbol that is a cross, I'll call it a cross, and that means there is also a surcharge if you are premium. So with the all inclusive premium, you get the glasses for free under that, but you do not get the bottles. You have to pay a surcharge, and that is, again, twenty-two fifty for the first two, £56.65 for the last. But I have to say, Dave, why would you order a bottle, really? Because they're constantly filling your glass it's, up. With... It's free, and it's free yeah. if you're on premium or inclusive. So and they're constantly sense. filling up. So unless you're celebrating a special occasion and you really want champagne or a nice wine, mm. then to us, it a no-brainer. We, we don't need premium. Not for wines, anyway. Okay, so next up we have our um, beers and ciders. On the all-inclusive, um, I think you get a really good selection here. So you actually get draft, so you can get pints of um, Foster's, John Smith's, or Strongbow. Now, I'm not a bitter drinker, so Foster's and Strongbow is perfectly fine for me. But what I was really impressed with on the all-inclusive, um, in the cans and the bottles range, you get Birra Moretti. Peroni, San Miguel Fresco, which is lovely. Um, Guinness, Heineken Zero, Tuborg, Cronenberg, Sol, and Red Stripe. But that is only in the Caribbean that you'll get the Red Stripe. Can I just quickly say that in this country, for me, a premium lager is Birramretti and Peroni. And they're served on the all-inclusive, so why would you not? And to me, I prefer a bottle than I do a, a pint, to be quite honest. Yeah, we very rarely have a draft drink. I don't think we ever have a draft drink on there, do we? Mm. We definitely stick to the bottles. And I, and I agree with you, Dave. I, I love Birra Moretti um, and the Sol. So I'm more than happy with what's on, with what's on the all-inclusive. Right, what's, if, what's extra with uh, beers and ciders on the premium? Right, on the draft, uh, you've also got Heineken. So not really a big deal breaker for me. Uh, but premium ales, you have got Old Speckled Hen and Laguritas. Where's that from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not me. And Candon Bottles, you've got uh, Heineken, Asahi, yeah. Alham you give me the odd one, didn't you? I did. Al Alhambra <laughs> Reserve, Strongbow Dark Fruit, Bulmer Cider and Magnus Irish Cider. So mm. actually, you, you've got a lot more choice, but I, I really still think that the beers and ciders on the inclusive were certainly fine for us. Mm. If you drink something on the premium, then again, work out how many you have and you will see whether it's worth you paying for that premium package. Definitely. So next up, we have the one thing we all got a cruise ship for, and that is cocktails. Now, I remember us vowing when we first went on Discovery two years ago, we're going to try and get through every cocktail on there. We did. No, no, no we, we didn't. didn't work like that. We didn't. I think we got through about a third. Um, but anyway, so this is why we stuck to the um, the 
all-inclusive instead of the premium. So let's have a little discussion about what's on the all-inclusive, what's on the premium all-inclusive. Let me first of all say that oh. this was a big reason we went premium. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, overall, we were really disappointed. Yeah. On two of the three uh, Morella ships we've been on, Discovery 2 and Voyager, we were quite disappointed with the standard of cocktail. We've just come back from the Explorer, and I have to say we had a much better experience. They seem to be a lot better at mm -hmm. making cocktails on Explorer than they were on the other two ships. But it was a big thing for us and we just found constantly there was too much alcohol in them and it, it killed any taste. Definitely. And um, what I found I was doing was a good tip for anybody that's like me. I was buying their mocktails, well not buying, I was getting their mocktails and asking for a shot of vodka or a shot of rum, whatever. And I was just applying whatever I wanted into a mocktail and it was gorgeous. Yeah, I we're, mean, their we're mocktails were us. stunning. Um, don't get me wrong, some of their cocktails were lovely, but their mocktails were lovely a couple of shots in there as well, and you've got a great cocktail, and it's not one off the menu you've got to make it yourself, but it's nice. But anyway, let's start off right. with the all-inclusive cocktails. Michael, do you want to go for this one? Yeah, okay, well, inclusive, you've got quite a long list, so I'll, I'll go through them quickly. Um, you'll obviously be able to see the page to see what uh, they are, but we've got Electric Lemonade, Illusion, Long Island Iced Tea, Raspberry Collins, Mai Tai, Singapore Sling, Sangria, Rockin Rita, a Dakiri. <laughs> you can't say it. You say Dakiri on the, on the cruise ship. Dakiri. Dakiri. Dak 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 oh, I got it right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Colada's. Black Russian and Cosmopolitan. Now, that is quite a big choice. Mm. And certainly, I think it's more um, realistic getting through the all-inclusive cocktails than trying to go through these and the premium, particularly mm. as some of them you can have as di with different flavouring. So, such as the Dakiri, you can... Dakiri, oh, I'll, never get it. Like I'll never get it right. <laughs> you can have that with very berry, strawberry, or banana classic lime. So, that in itself represents about four or five different. And the same with the Coladas. You can have the classic, the raspberry, strawberry, banana. So, that extends this list quite extensively. Mm, mm. And I think there's plenty on there. I mean, I love a pina colada, and I really like the strawberry daiquiri. Daiquiri, well <laughs> done. Okay, so should we quickly talk about yep. the um, premium all-inclusive? So, yep. I was a little disappointed again with the premium um, all-inclusive. And the reason why is I used to be um, a pub manager mm. um, and a bar manager. So, I used to make cocktails myself. And one of the most simplest and basic cocktails there is on a menu is a Sex on the Beach. And that is on their premium. And the reason why it's on their premium is, is because they're using branded alcohol. Now, I'm not being funny. It's going to taste exactly the same with basic alcohol. So Sex on the Beach is your first one. You've got the Porn Star Martini. Um, I quite like them. They're not that great, but hey -ho. What, Porn Stars? No, the Martinis. <laughs> um, chocolate Espresso Martini. Now, they are really nice if anyone wants to try one. Not my cup of tea, but they were quite nice. Um, sea Breeze. Again, it's a basic cocktail. Um, mojito. Now, this is where it annoys me slightly. You've got the mojito listed at three ninety five, but then you've also got the pineapple mojito. Now, on the basic um, cocktail list, you've got daiquiris or coladas with all the flavors. They've actually done a mojito and then a different flavor mojito as two different cocktails. They should all be listed under the same. You've got the caprina. Don't know what that is. I've never made that before. Purple rain again was a basic cocktail we were making. Southern punch, tropical iced tea. The Rumble, the Mudslide, which I must mention Mikey loves, and it didn't is... get one. No, I see, again, this is what you do. I said to Dave, because we still buy the odd premium drink as a treat, and particularly the coffees, but I said to Dave, I'm having a Mudslide this time, because I had one on Discovery 2, and that was the best cocktail I had on there. And I was determined, because it's got Baileys in it, mm. uh, but I never got to have one, and this is what happens. <coughs> Excuse our yappy dog. <coughs> And of course, the last two on there is you've got the Cadillac Margarita and you've got the Aperol Spritz. Now, not very funny, we went to Trieste and we had Aperol Spritzes from Italy, where I believe they were um, born, I'm not sure. Um, cost us £2.30 for an Aperol Spritz, four quid on the cruise ship. They weren't that nice. Um, don't get fooled by the look. They look lovely, but they're not that nice. Um, so, yeah, that's all there is on there. Just be mindful. The cocktails are not specialty signature cocktails on this menu. They do do some um, upstairs, I believe. Yeah. Um, the reason why they're on the um, premium all-inclusive is because of the um, level of alcohol they're using. So they're using alcohols like um, AU, vodka, um, Grey Goose, that sort of stuff. So it's a different level of alcohol opposed to the, the free stuff that 
us little porpoise have um, the thing now. You're joking. I've got a feeling Grey Goose might be on the. Orientation. I really don't think so. Oh, you don't think so? No. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that one in a minute. To me, alcohol is alcohol. Vodka tastes like vodka, no matter what it is. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, same with me. Particularly in a cocktail, I don't think you need expensive brands in no. cocktails, particularly. But if we're wrong, pop it in the comments. You know, we're happy to try anything um, to see if it's better than the other. But anyhow, moving, moving on. on, moving on quickly. We mocktails, have mocktails. Now, this is, I'm going to start this one because this is my speciality. This is what I had a lot of. Okay, because I wasn't that fussed on most of the cocktails on the menu, but I was happy to try my own. So um, I was in, um, experimenting with mocktails and getting as many different mocktails as I could and adding like a shot of vodka or double of whatever to them and see how they turn out. Pretty lovely. Um, so we'll start off with Pineapple Sunshine. I loved this mocktail. This was lovely. I'm a very sweet and sort of soury type drink person. That, that was, was quite lovely. refreshing as a cocktail. Very. But the next one was one of my favourites. Bora Bora Brew, love that one. If you get a chance to try the Bora Bora Brew, try it, it's beautiful. You've got the November Sea Breeze, the Virgin Emotion, the Junior Sea Breeze, and the Shirley Temple. All lovely cocktails. Whap a bit of vodka in there if you're an adult. Um, happy days. Right, we'll move on to the aperitifs, liquors, ports, and sherries. On the inclusive list, you've got Martini Dry Vermouth, uh, Bianco Vermouth, Red Vermouth, Pims, Dubonnet, Campari, Perno. That was a bit of a tongue twister almost, oh. that. Uh, liqueurs, you've got Amaretto, Molly's Ice Cream. Cream. Ice, did I say ice cream? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's Irish Cream. And, of course, my favourite, Bailey's. Bailey's, which I think is amazing that it's on the inclusive. I, do. I love a Bailey's over ice. Uh, Southern Comfort, Cherry Brandy, Coffee Liqueur and Triple Sec Orange. Ports, if you like a port, you've got Sandeman Ruby and Sandeman Imperial Reserve Tawny. Sherry's Harvey's Bristol Cream. Oh, that's an old Christmas one, yeah, that is, isn't it? And Croft Original. Does anyone still drink Sherry? Don't yeah, they do. do they? Oh, I think you'd be surprised how it many people like drink. Sherry. It could, it could be the next drink. It could be back big mm -hmm. time. And then, of course, do you want to go through the premium list? I will, only because you probably can't pronounce half of these. So the premium um, liquors list is Frangelico, Galliano, Grand Marnier, Jägermeister, Sambuca, Tia Maria, Saint-Germain, Elderflower, Kahlua, Contro, and Drambuie. And if you were to purchase those, if you stayed on the all-inclusive, that would be £3.30 for each of those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what have we got next? Mr. Moving Sam? on, we've got Spirits. spirits. Oh, you were right. <laughs> no Grey Goose. No, Unclusive. No, because it's there on that one. But anyway, we'll talk right, about quickly. I'll do the inclusive. So with gins, I'll go through this quickly. We've got Gordon's Gin and New Amsterdam Gin. Again, I love gin, but I'm happy with any gin, really, because it's how it's mixed and it's what it's mixed with. Um, vodka, New Amsterdam and Smirnoff. Tequila, we've got Jose Cuervo Silver and Jose Cuervo Gold. We've Scotch whiskies. we've got Teachers, Johnny Walker Red, Bells and the Famous Grouse. American and Irish whiskies, we've got Jim Beam and Jameson's. Rum, we've got Bacardi, Captain Morgan Spiced and Rum Haven Coconut. Brandy, we have Fundador and Metaxa Five Star. Now, that is quite an impressive list, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot. But let's go through. If you do like the better brands, then let's go through what's available on the premium. Gin, you've got Bombay Sapphire, Hendrix and Gordon's Premium Pink Distilled Gin. You've got uh, Absolute Grey Goose and Chopin Choice of Vodka. 1800 Resposado <laughs> uh, on tequila. Whiskers, you've got Johnny Walker Black, Glen Livet, Shivas Regal, Glen Moranger, Glen Fiddick and Old Bushmills. Uh, American Canadian whiskey, you've got Jack Daniels, Canadian Club, Stillhouse Black, Stillhouse Spiced Cherry. And rums, you've got Clark's Court Old Greg, Floor de. I should put my glasses on. Canna. What's that? Canna. Myers, Kachaka, Malibu. <laughs> Why do I get the hard ones? <laughs> Cognac and brandies, you've got Martel, Martel VS, that was my mother's favourite. Cardinal Mendoza, Martel VSOP, and Calvados. Mm -hmm. These vary in price, uh, three thirty up to about four pounds sixty, 
which is an expensive one, which is the Martel, Martel VSOP. Can I just quickly add, they are all served as 30 mils. So I'm pretty sure in our country, 25 mil is a single, 50 mil is a double. These are 30 mils, um, they're single size, so a double will be 60 mil. Okay. So yeah, and so again, I think that really boils down to whether you like a particular brand. If, like mm -hmm. us, you're not bothered, then you would probably, you know, be quite happy on the inclusive. Right, let's quickly talk about this because this is very important. This is important because some restaurants um, offer coffees, um, but you have to be all-inclusive premium to have them, otherwise you've got to pay a surcharge. So we'll just quickly talk about what you can get at the Into the Drink. Um, I know specifically at the lounge they serve these coffees uh, because we did this the one night and it was quite nice leaving yeah, yeah, and having yeah. a coffee elsewhere and it yeah. was really nice. So yeah. let's go on to the inclusive speciality coffees. We have an Irish coffee. Now, um, most people will know that in some restaurants you have to pay for these, so they're free at the lounge. Uh, that's um, an Irish coffee, an Irish cream coffee, a Lumumba, which we tried, which if you don't know is brandy, hot chocolate and fresh whipped cream. Lovely. Um, and then hot drinks to the bar, you've got cafe latte, cappuccino, hot chocolate, Americano, cafe mocha, macchiato, espresso, Nescafe, Nescafe, um, decaffeinated, and tea. May I just quickly add that they are not going to be the same sort of level quality as the coffee port. I think that's a signature coffee and venue. They use Lavazza. I don't think they use Lavazza yeah. at the bars. And it, there is a specific coffee port menu, which we will come to at the end. Mm. So do you want to talk them through the premium all-inclusive coffees? Yeah, premium all-inclusive coffees. You've got the Highland coffee. Uh, chocolate orange coffee, which we did treat ourselves to uh, one of the meals okay. uh, to end the meal. And that was very nice. That was £3.95. You've got the Cafe Royal and the Italiano coffee. Yes. So if you are into coffee and you fancy a nice coffee after a meal or at any time of the day, don't think it's just coffee port or the restaurants. You can go to the lounges and they serve some absolute quality coffees there yeah you can so that's that's a really extensive list of it drinks is. and i'm i'm quite shocked you can still get sort of liqueur coffees uh, on, on the on inclusive, in inclusive. Yeah. okay so soft drinks and juices now on the inclusive so if you've got traveling with children or whatever and they can only have a uh, mocktail or, or soft drinks and juices you have got the choice of juices orange juice pineapple juice cranberry juice tomato juice apple juice and grapefruit juice uh, and on your soft drinks by the glass may add because only cans are on premium you have cola, diet cola, tonic water, soda water, orange soda, and ginger ale. And on the premium, all inclusive, um, they range £1.50 for the following. Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Fanta Orange, Diet Fanta Orange, Sprite, Diet Sprite, Tonic Water, Slimline Tonic Water, Ginger Ale, Club Soda, Iron Brew, Ginger Beer, Bitter Lemon. And then £3.85 for a Red Bull sugar free. Uh, same price for a Red Bull, 250 mil. Red Bull Tropical, same price. And then you've got J2O's orange and passion fruit, apple and raspberry. They will set you back £2.65 uh, if you're not on premium. Then you've got San Pellegrino Aranciata, which is orange, Limonata, which is lemon. And then on the water list, you've got still or sparkling, and also Perrier water. Can I quickly add, you do not get water on the all-inclusive package. So in the premium all-inclusive package, do not think you do. There is a surcharge for water. So the waters that Mike just read out there actually come with a cross next to them. That means you've got to pay a surcharge. Um, so no water is available on that ship under the all-inclusive premium package. Uh, right, moving on. Yeah, so moving on, we're on to, we're, we're gonna show you the coffee port menu. Coffee Port is probably, with us not going premium on the last two cruises, most of the money that we've spent buying premium drinks has been in Coffee Port because we both like a nice coffee and yeah. Lavazzo coffee is gorgeous. But can I quickly see how cheap they are? Yeah. I, I, so cheap. Yeah, I think um, certainly look out for their specials. Now, on Discovery 2, it was a gingerbread latte. And Voyager. on... Those voyages. No, that was Discovery 2 as well. Okay, we were there Christmas, so it tends to be the Christmas sense, one. It, yeah. But on the Voyager, it was also the, the gingerbread yeah. latte. And on our last one on Explorer, July, um, it was the toffee nut latte. Mm. Now, if you have it without alcohol, it's £1.75. If you add a shot of alcohol, it's £2.50, which is still really... Well, you've got to think to yourself, good if, value. if you went to Costa or Starbucks and had... A yeah. basic caramel latte, whatever, 
you're looking at four pound to five pound odd. Yeah. So you're getting that quality level coffee, if not better in my opinion, because I love Labatsa coffee. Yeah, I do. For one pound seventy five, it yeah blows my mind. And all the other drinks on there, as you see from the menu, uh, are very reasonable. So we definitely sort of rate the coffee port, mm, but we probably have one coffee a day uh, premium, and so it still works well under what we would have spent if we'd have gone premium. Yeah. And I mean, it's pointless really talking about all the coffees. You're going to get all the coffees that you have at home, your espressos, your lattos, your cortados, whatever you want, it's served there. We need to quickly just add, though, um, at the coffee port, um, there's also sweet treats and bites you can get there as well. They didn't have ice cream with this coffee mm. port, where they have done with uh, Discovery 2. They've got, um, like, cakes and cookies and that sort of stuff, and they will come um, with a surcharge on top of the premium or inclusive package. Um, so like I said, if you're, if, if you're up for a, a nice coffee, you can either go to one of the bars and get one of theirs or go to Coffee Port, a small fee and get a really good coffee. And have the odd treat. Mm -hmm. Well, should we just talk now? Um, also, just bear in mind that some of the bars have their own specific menus and drinks that are only available at that bar. So for example, on the Voyager, you've got the Exchange, Aperitif, um, where they've got different menus mm -hmm. and we'll show you those as we're talking and on our latest one on the um, Explorer the gin and whiskey bar and also aperitif but we've we've had a bit of confusion haven't we with these bars we have because I am 100% sure on the Voyager um, these bars were signature bars so you could get premium one inclusive drinks there like signature drinks but they also still served um, like if you wanted a vodka and coke, you'd get a vodka and coke on your all-inclusive. But in these bars, you could only be on premium all-inclusive uh, or buy the drinks, which was a shame because it meant that it took away two bars that we couldn't use. Um, and I felt a little bit pushed out on that one because they were nice sort of areas to sit, weren't they? Yeah, because what's, what's weird is a Aperitif bar is right next to Surf and Turf, Cora mm. Law, and it would be the natural place to go and have a pre-drink before you go in for your meal. Mm. But we turned up there and the chap said, oh, no, we only serve uh, yeah, premium like drinks. And, yeah, that, that we, I found that a bit weird because I was under the impression that no matter what bar you went to, you could still get any drink but i suppose it makes sense that they can't all stock everything and most bars the main bars you can get any drink yeah. and to be fair the squid and anchor wasn't far away from that and within the squid and anchor was the gin and whiskey bar which i've never seen before yeah. and i was all for because i'm a massive gin fan um but we didn't actually end up buying one from there because you can just get a gin and tonic from the squid and anchor obviously not to the level that you get in a gin and tonic over at the gin and whiskey bar or whiskey but it was quite expensive. Now, I can't remember the price, can you? It's no, I five, can't, but I'll... Five pound odd. Yeah, I'll show we'll them. We'll put it on the I'll screen. I'll show them many. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they served a whole different yeah. array of different gin and tonics and gins from around yeah. the world and stuff. So, shall we just talk about some of the negatives that we found with Premium? Mm -hmm. Firstly, on Discovery 2, we were delivered a one and a half litre bottle of water as part of our Premium package every night. It was it was warm, it wasn't cold, and yeah. we did not have a fridge. So we ended up, by the end of the cruise, with about four or five bottles of water that we never used, because just down the corridor, by each of the lifts, is a water machine where it dishes out ice-cold water. So we just t took our flasks and filled that up, and that stayed cold, and was still cold when we woke up in the morning and needed some water. Which was needed because the aircon, again, wasn't working in our room. So if you'd have had water brought to the room, it's just been warm, it's pointless. Yeah. And, uh, can we just quickly add that yeah. they're taking away all the fridges in yeah, the, inside rooms? Yeah, we had the only one we had a fridge on was Voyager. But we have heard that they are taking away the fridges in the rooms. And certainly we've just been on the Explorer in an inside room and our, our fridge didn't exist, it had gone. So we would have had the same situation there. So the reason why we're saying it is if you are on premium or inclusive and you get delivered your bottle of water... There's nowhere to put it to keep it cold. Secondly, I was really annoyed because I do like a can of pop, a can of Fanta, a can of Coke. And I was really frustrated because Coffee Port opens at seven o'clock in the morning for coffees. And I went there one morning about nine o'clock, half eight, nine o'clock. And I asked for a can and was told, oh, we don't serve cans till 10 a.m. And nowhere on that ship could I get a can of pop. 
I had to go to the um, the like buffet, market, the marketplace kitchen, yeah, sort of thing, yeah, to to get sort of it out the tap there. Mm. So I was a little bit disappointed. I couldn't get a can when I wanted it. Can I quickly jump on to the marketplace? Um, so on the Voyager, apologies about using the Voyager as a comparison, but on the Voyager, I was always awake at five, six in the morning. You walk up the stairs, go through the kitchens to get to the aft of the ship. And you'd get a lovely coffee. They got the machines, so they don't have the the sort of dispensers. They have the machines there, lovely coffee, and you'd sit at the back watching the sunrise. They need coffee. to bring those coffee machines into all of their. Ships. Well, I was going to say, I'm hoping on the refurb of Explorer when it happens that they put those in because they put in these vats of coffee. Oh my my word! It was like tar. It was the most horrible coffee I've ever had in my life. It wasn't even served till about half six, seven o'clock. Um, you couldn't get a coffee before that anywhere. The coffee's in your room. You had like one. So if you were out, you were out. It was bad. Um, well, the, they were big flasks and they'd turn them on at a certain time horrible. in the morning. And if we went for a coffee half six, seven, it hadn't warmed up. So you were just getting lukewarm coffee out. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't good at all. And, good. and yet the machines, the coffee machines on Voyager were, were brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, other negatives. Well, we're also a little bit confused now that on um, Discovery 2, when we went premium, when you leave the ship, there are small bottles of water that you can get. And we went to get one thinking they were premium and we're told, oh, no, you have to pay for these. Yeah. Which I was a little bit shocked by. But then it does sort of matter when I said a minute ago about all water is or is a surcharge, mm. which doesn't really make any sense when water is also free on the boat from dispensers. So I don't understand. Why for some reason, I prefer it out there. Because it's ice cold. Because it's ice cold, yeah, it's so it's much better. Can you think of any other premium negatives premium negatives um the only thing i've got to say is um the ice cream uh, now i never even saw the ice cream parlor open but to me if i was because on the voyage it was free but if i was on a premium package i would expect the ice cream yeah. to be free yeah. but i don't think it is i think it's a surcharge on the ice cream whereas then they do on the voyage it for free which doesn't make any sense so like all ships don't really marry up natural with the way that they are yeah. uh, but other than that i can't really think of any of the i think just the 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 state of the cocktails, they're, they're just not well made uh, on two of the three ships that we've been on. And that, to me, really meant that one of the big things for us, cocktails on the premium, it, it was taken away. But maybe we should also, we, we favour all-inclusive now, but maybe we should just look if there's any negatives with the all-inclusive. And I guess the first one and the only one I can think of, really, is the fact that if you're premium, you don't have to really worry. Uh, you can order whatever you want, when you want, and that worry is gone. And it, it's not a bad choice. I don't think it's a bad choice to go premium because I still think it represents excellent value for money. Uh, can you think of any negatives? The only negative I've got, now I love the all-inclusive, I really do, but the only negative I had was I was at the bar um, and there was quite a few people there and someone shouted excuse me i've got premium and the barman served them next when they'd only just come in and they weren't in the queue and that annoyed me i think that's sort of a training issue nothing to do with the premium stuff like that but they shouldn't be serving people yeah. over you because they're premium and you're not uh, that was a little bit of a kick in the teeth yeah i think that was unfortunate perhaps but yeah. hopefully that doesn't happen too but often. other than that i love right. the inclusive well, as I say, hopefully this video has given you the chance to look at the prices in the book, look what different drinks are available, and you can make your mind up from what you drink and what you know you're going to like as to whether it is worth paying that £360 for two people oh. for two weeks or £320 um, if, you, pre, if yeah. you prepay. Yeah. Um, whether that is worth, you know, worth it, as I say, I think it's excellent value for money, but for us... We're happy with inclusive. Yeah. So, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And we hope you haven't rabbled on too much. Um, if you've liked the video, please give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Let me just quickly add that subscribe doesn't mean you've got to pay anything. Subscribe is just liking us and following us. Um, all you've got to do is have an account. That's it. Um, click on the little bell for future content. We are more than happy to give you as much information as we can. If you want to hear a video from us, pop in the comments below what you'd like to hear about the Explorer or any of the other ships we've been on, and we'd be more than happy to supply you with that video. Yeah. Just, just as a little caveat to that, um, it's a massive help for us subscribing, likes, and hitting the bell, because that pushes our content out to more people, and uh, YouTube analytics like like things that do that. So it is a great help to us. So thanks very much. If you do, just press that button. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>